Liam, it's been a couple of weeks without a game for you guys now. You just seem to be ready and raring to go to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit frustrating. Obviously, we were on a good run uh, with previous games, getting points on the board and to have um, a short break from the games because the weather, it's a bit frustrating, but that that's football. We've been on the training ground working hard and like I say, we were raring to go for the next. Yeah, the cold tap really snap seems to have really affected a lot of teams in this division, but Swindon themselves have played the last two games over that weekend. Does that alter the preparations, knowing that you've got somebody who's coming into it on the back of two games unbeaten now? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they played on Saturday, beat Barrow 1-0, which is a good result at their place. Barrow are very good at home. But uh, we can't look too much at the opposition. We can only focus on ourselves. Um, and like I say, it's been frustrating not having the two games we've missed, but we've been working on the training ground and trying to prepare for the next game when it gets called off. Like I say, frustration, but all we can do is prepare for Swindon now and, and look forward to it. Boys are in good spirit. Yeah, it does seem to you've got your, just before we sat down, your, your Christmas meal. The, the spirits do really seem high with this group at the moment and that comes with good results. Yeah, I mean, it, the results help. Uh, we've always had good spirit in the camp. The, the lads, the staff are all top draw. Um, and like I say, uh, the, you can see that on the pitch now, the results are coming and we just got to keep it up. Uh, the spirit will always remain good in the camp and we just have to take that to the games now and, and keep the spirit on the pitch. And You've seen that in the last few games where we've, we've, we've put in some good performances and, and the results are coming. It's a testament to the group though, isn't it? Because we had that run without wins and you know picking up points here and there, but to now go, I think it's eight games unbeaten. It's just a real testament to what this group has you know, come through and he's now on, on the better side of it. Yeah, I mean, we went through the, the patch in September where we, we put in some good performances, but I think we just lacked the, the luck, uh, conceding late goals and holding on to leads. But now we, we, we're, we're, we're being solid at the back. We're scoring the goals up, up top. It's, it's a really solid team base we've got at the moment. And all we can say is we've just got to keep taking it into games now and, and take each game as it is and start working our way up the table. And that comes with buying into what the coaching staff are doing as well with everything they're trying to implement going into each individual game. Yeah, like I say, we've got the gaffer, the staff, they, they, they know what the league's about and we, everyone's been built into, into it and everyone knows what the gaffer wants and we all want the same. And uh, like I say, it, it's League Two. We've got a lot of players in the team that knows how to win promotion and uh, we just got to take it into each game and like I say, take, take it a game at a time.